Hello and welcome back to another video. This video I'm going to be showing you how you can create and send direct download links for your files on Google Drive. I'm actually going to be showing you four ways of doing this. How you can use an application, online methods, or generating it yourself using either the by hand method or generating it using Google Sheets. So let me go ahead and get started. What is a direct download link for your Google Drive files? Well, as you see right here, I have my Google Drive brought up and let's say I want to share this picture. All I have to do is go down to get link or share. It'll give me exactly the same thing. So I right click on it and I go to get link. And then I want to make sure this says anyone with a link can see it. And this is the link that Google Drive is going to give me to share my document. So if I click copy, you can see it copied the link. And if I go over to a, another tab, for instance, this right here, I have another account brought up in another browser. If I paste this URL in here and I hit enter, you can see that it's taking me to the file. Now, this is not what I want. Instead, I want this image to automatically download because this is a preview. If anybody wanted to download this, they'd have to come up here and click download and then they'd be able to save it. That's a step I want to bypass with this. So how do you do that? Well, first off, let me show you the best and easiest method to do this. That would be using a third party application, which we have developed, which is G Drive Linker. Now, this is the uh, paid for version. The free version has everything in it that you will ever need and on top of that it does more than any other free version out there which we will get to in a minute. So all we have to do is once you have your link copied you go in here and you paste it in and you have a direct download link right here which if you want to test this out you can copy it go right back over here to another window paste it in and as you can see, we now have a direct download for that file. We can also, if I go back to our file right here, if I want to save this entire document or this entire folder, I can do that with G Drive Linker. And that is the only application that will let you do this. So if I copy this link and paste it into G Drive Linker, It'll say I need to add it to the list. I can go ahead and add it. And as you can see, we now have a complete folder list of everything in there with links for every single document inside of all of that with direct download links available for it. And we can even export this list into a CSV file in case we need to email it to somebody. So yes, G Drive Linker can do files, folders, document types, and all that other stuff for you. Docs, spreadsheets or sheets, and presentations. All of that can be downloaded for you in an instant. Now there, as I mentioned, the free version does more than any other free download generator that you can find because G Drive Linker is the only one that generates folders. It's also the only one that works entirely offline if you choose to do that. And let me explain how the other ones work. So this is the second method. If you want to go the free route but don't want to use the free version of G Drive Linker, there are other ones available for you. In fact, if you just Google Google Drive Direct Download Link Generator, you're going to come up with a bunch of them, but they are all pretty much the same. Let me show you what I mean. Right here, it says you need to put in your drive link. So let's go back and do the same thing that we did before. Get link, copy, and then we're going to go right in here and paste this in. It's going to create a link for you right here. And this link will work inside of another browser. So if we go up here, paste it in, you can see we now have the download link available for us. When you are uploading anything online, it is essentially unprotected, which means that anybody who has access to the website can essentially have access to your files. G Drive Linker is the only way to do this completely offline unless you create the links yourself. But not only that, if you share the folder, copy that link, let's go back over here. There 
is no other method for sharing folders online other than G Drive linkers. So if I go here, create the link, it's going to say invalid URL. That is going to be the same on every one of the direct link generators that you use. It's also going to be the same thing if you try to do a spreadsheet, a Google Doc, or a presentation. It will always be an invalid URL. So how do we do this on your own? How do you create your own direct download links? Well, I'm going to show you how to do that with Google Sheets. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to copy the link just like I did before. And I'm going to bring up my Google Sheets and I have everything explained for you right here. So I have this neat little program wrote up. I we I typed this up really quickly. This is the exact code that we used right here. So you can see it's exactly the same. And what this does is when you paste in your link for your Google document, it's going to give you a direct download link right here that you can then copy. And as you can see, there is a screenshot of it. It is a capture and let's copy this. Let's put it up here. And as you can see, we have a direct download link. So how this works to create a direct download link, you first need the URL. So we have the URL right here and I have that exact same thing copied here. Inside the URL, you're going to find a number. Now this number is unique to every single file that you will ever see inside of Google Drive. The length of it can be different. It can be shorter, longer than this. It really depends on the file. And how you section this out is you need that ID number. That ID number is essentially the file and where it's located at on Google Drive. You section out that number by using this little code. And then you tell Google what to do with the URL, which is and export equals download. So you're telling Google that you want to download that file. So once you do that, this is your generated link. Basically, you change file ID that you see right here to UC, which means the user control question mark, which means we're going to tell Google what the user wants to do. The user wants to access the item ID or item identification number, which is the number that we found previously. And what do we want to do with it? Well, we want to export and download and that generates your direct download link. So yes, this is how you can create your own links on your own if you want to make it by hand or if you want to use this handy little code that we have right here in Google Sheets, you can generate your own code just by using this. Now this will not generate entire folders. It will also not generate cheats and docs and presentations, but as I mentioned, G Drive Linker is completely free for the trial version, which has more functionality than anything else you're going to find online. If you would like to unlock all the functionalities of it, it's a very small fee. But like I said, the free version offers you more than anything else you're going to find for free online. Hi, I'm Kyle, owner and operator of Great Technical. Thank you all so much for making it at this point in the video. And if you are here, go ahead, like, and subscribe to the channel. It helps us out a lot and it lets me know that the content I'm making is stuff that you all like to see. Go ahead, leave us a comment as well. Let me know if there's anything that you would like to see in the future or if you have any future updates that you would like to have included in our products in the future. I would also like to say that being a company owner, I am very proud to be able to support businesses and students. I am also extremely proud to be able to support content creators. So if you have a content platform, you make videos, or if you have a blog and you would like to reuse some of our content, or if you would like to review some of our products, go ahead and send me an email. My email is right here, support at greattechnical.com. Get in contact with me. We can see what we can get worked out. And until next time, thank you all very much. Have a great rest of your day.